I will also call upon the King, Philippe of Belgium, as well as hold bilateral meetings with some of my counterparts in Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Good evening, uh, Vice, uh, you see. Uh, Vice President uh, Indaisara, uh, the uh, members of the Cabinet, uh, House Speaker uh, Martin, uh, Congressman Martin Romualdez, the AFP Chief of, uh, Chief of Staff, uh, Lieutenant General Bacaro, and our other major service commanders, uh, the members of the media, who are those who are accompanying and those who are not, and of course, always our, uh, <laughs> uh, who is always here for us, is our, our good uh, mayor, Mayor uh, Calixto Rubiano, uh, of course, uh, First Lady, Lisa Marcos, I only do that to annoy you. <laughs> Fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. In a short while, I depart for Brussels upon the invitation of the European Council President Charles Michel, Charles Charles, Charles Michel, to attend the ASEAN European Union Commemorative Summit on the 14th. The standalone summit is celebrating 45 years of ASEAN EU relations with in depth discussions on the most relevant issues concerning both regional organizations, such as global and regional security challenges, sustainable development, and economic cooperation, amongst other things. This will be the first meeting between ASEAN and EU member states' leaders at the EU headquarters, and I am pleased to highlight the Philippines' role as country coordinator for ASEAN in its dialogue relations with the EU. In addition to pursuing ASEAN interests as country coordinator for the EU, I will always as, uh, certainly push for Philippine priorities within the context of the ASEAN-EU cooperation, particularly in post-pandemic economic recovery and trade, maritime cooperation, and of course, climate action. Preceding the commemorative summit is the 10th ASEAN EU Business Summit, hosted by the EU ASEAN Business Council. A C suite C suite luncheon on the occasion of the business summit will be hosted for ASEAN leaders and guests from the private sector. Uh, it is up to me uh, to as a coordinator. Uh, the Philippines is the coordinator country uh, for the uh, between ASEAN and EU. So I will deliver the closing remarks at the C-Suite luncheon and at the Business Summit itself. These events provide an opportunity to drum up economic interest once again and engagement for the Philippines in view of the presence of key business leaders in Europe at the event. I will also call upon the King, Philippe of Belgium, as well as hold bilateral meetings with some of my counterparts in Europe. And of course, I look forward to meeting the Filipino community in Belgium. And after the successful series of summits hosted by us and Chair Cambodia last month, I look forward to a productive and meaningful summit that recognizes ASEAN and the EU's four and a half decades of long-standing relations. And this uh, we will continue to do and we are very proud to, although I am representing the Philippines, I am now also representing all of Asia. But nonetheless, as I have mentioned, Philippine interest will always enter into all my discussions. Thank you very much and good evening.
I will also call upon the King, Philippe of Belgium, as well as hold bilateral meetings with some of my counterparts in Europe. Deposits in the name of Ferdinand Marcus in a bank in Brussels, and it's for nine. It's for nine hundred and eighty-seven billion dollars. Nine hundred and eight. Can we show the camera? No. <laughs>